In Japanese, the causative form of verbs has three functions. It can be used to show that someone forced someone to do something or made someone feel a certain way and that someone gave someone permission or received permissions from someone to do something. Let's first go over how to create it. For ru verbs, you change the ru part to saseru and for u verbs, you change the u sound to its equivalent a sound and add seru. As for the exception verbs, suru becomes saseru and kuru becomes kosaseru. The result always becomes a ru verb. Let's change the verb iku to the causative form. Iku is a u verb, so we change the u sound ku to its equivalent a sound ka and add seru, so it becomes ika seru. First, I'll show you how to use it to show that someone forced someone else to do something. In this case, the causative form translates to to make someone do verb. In this case, the person who was forced to do something is marked by o. For example, watashi wa ototo o gakkou ni ikaseta. However, when the verb takes a direct object, which of course is marked by o, then the person who was forced to do something should be marked by ni instead. This is because a verb can only have one o particle. For example, sensei wa watashi ni shukudai o saseta. Since shukudai is the direct object of saseru and thus uses the o particle already, watashi is marked by ni instead. Please follow for part two.